Today we're going to show you how to fill out the HICFA 1500 form using the signature claims Apollo's billing system. To start with, you're going to go to Setup. Under the path and name of the claims file, you're going to put the word Apollos. This will turn on the Apollos billing system and show you this button. If you're brand new, the first thing you're going to want to do is fill out the practice information. Here we have Dr. John Doe. There are a few things to note on this. First of all, note that his zip code has the full nine digits. This is required. If you don't put all nine in, the claim will not be accepted. Here we have the Social Security number or the Federal Tax ID. In this case, it's the Federal Tax ID, and we've noted that by pushing this button here. The NPI also must be in there. The rest of this information is for you. Some practices have many different doctors and only one billing provider. So you simply enter in all those individual doctors. In this case, the doctor is the only one in the practice. So he is both the billing provider and the rendering provider. Once we fill all this information out, we can go to add our patients. Let's add a new patient. Here we put in the patient information. Most of this information is going to go onto the claim form, but some is for your own benefit, such as the telephone number and email. Note here that we can have the billing provider and the rendering provider, and you can choose those from a list that will appear here. Also in the patient information records, we have the insurance company. You can choose the insurance company for this particular patient. You can also put in the insurance company name as well as address. We really don't need or use the address, but you can keep it for your own information. You will also have to make sure you put in the insured ID. That's going to appear on the form. As far as the insured, if it's the same person, you can just click self and this will self fill in all by itself. If it is somebody else, click what relation they are and fill in this information. Once you save all this information, you can go back and browse the patient records to pull it back up again. In this case, we already have a patient, Smith. Let's pull her up. Note that we have all the information for patient Smith here. Her billing provider, her rendering provider, and the assigning of the benefits. We also have her insurance information right here. Here is her insurance ID, and here is the relationship, and she is the self-insured, so that's her. Now we're going to create a claim for Jane Smith. Click on the Create Claim, and in this case, we're going to click on the CMS file. This brings up the new CMS form. Note that all of the insured's information, as well as patient information, is already filled out for you. You don't need to fill it out again. We can scroll down the form and you can see it looks just like a standard HICFA form. Note these arrows right here. The software starts out not knowing anything, but as you put in information such as a new diagnosis code, the software will remember that code. In the future, all you have to do is click on one of these arrows and there will be a selection there and you can select your diagnosis code. This makes it a lot easier for you in the future. Same thing with the procedure codes. Note also that we have the rendering provider NPI, the federal tax, patient account number, and all this information at the bottom is already filled out for you, including the doctor and facility NPI. All you have to do, more or less, is the diagnosis codes and those things that go in box 24. Dates of service, place of service, procedures, modifiers, the diagnosis pointers, which refers to these, charges, and units. When you're all done, you will hit File and Save and Add to the Send Batch. Now in this case, because we haven't filled out the form, it's going to give us an error message. 
diagnosis code is blank and cannot be accepted. We would have to fill that in before we can make this claim and put it into the sending batch. Now the sending batch has not been sent yet. It's just going to hold it on your computer for just a little bit. When you're finally all done with this particular patient, you're going to save it and you'll end up with a clear form and you can do it again. You can save many different claims, one after the other, and it will put it into the sending batch. When you're ready to send your claim, it will say right here you have claims to send and you will see additional buttons in this particular section to send your claim. Once you send your claim, you will get a report back stating what happened to the claims that you just sent. In this report will also be feedback from the insurance companies that you're going to want to read thoroughly. That's it. Pretty simple.